So chances are, if you've watched Monster Jam or followed anything lately, you know about the channel memberships that they dropped a few years ago. So it was honestly a really super cool thing they did, getting the 18 years of backlog footage for $6. That's pretty good if you ask me. Especially since basically all this footage was just non-existent on the internet. There was basically nowhere to find it. But as with every big company, they couldn't just take the easy home run and make everybody happy. They had to fuck it up at least a little bit. All of the episodes seem to be ripped straight from their TV appearances, but not all are created equal, unfortunately. The audio mixing is horrendous on some of these episodes. It usually has commentators so much quieter than everything else to where it becomes basically impossible to hear them sometimes. On a few episodes, the audio just cuts out for no reason. Guess who's next? You better not go away. And they even noted these errors and just didn't fix them. I can forgive some of the earlier episodes for having poor quality because it's just how it was back then. It was not the best quality, but some of these are not the quality. They're just, again, fucking up the mixing so bad that you can't hear anything that's being said. But throughout 2008, 2009, 2010, it's pretty solid. And then we get to 2011. After the world finals, the audio is just consistently awful with Mark and Scott being way too quiet in basically every episode. The inconsistencies make no sense because Freestyle Part 1 of World Finals 12 is way too quiet. She's going right for it! Oh my! Oh my, she overdid it! She did. But Part 2 is just fine, so what is happening here? The problem with this being way down in the draw here at 14, 15, 16 truck, you've had the nerve-wracking experience of watching what the other trucks are doing, now you know what you have to do, however... The most notable fuck up definitely is seen in 2014, but starts at the 2013 final show in the Metrodome, where they just throw out any regard for quality control. It's got like 480p quality max, and it just looks like complete garbage compared to anything, anything else. And here is the absolute just icing on the cake of this fuck up. Pretty much all of the 2012, 2013, and 2014 shows are already dropped with proper quality. Like, they have really released all this better. They just needed to give us the full episode. Why was that so hard? How did they fuck this up so bad? Thankfully, once we get into 2015, the issues kind of iron themselves out. And from here on out, I didn't see any notable audio or visual issues with any of the other years. But why this happened at all is beyond me. I feel like you have to go out of your way to actually fuck this up when you've literally shown that you already have access to it. You can already release it in some form and have it be perfectly fine. I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Another more minor thing that I think a lot of people would have liked is if we could have got anything extra, honestly. We got the all the official episodes dropped that were on TV, we didn't get anything extra. No extra footage or anything, No, none of the DVDs. There's a whole bunch of those that people like, which are up in pieces on the internet in different places. And no ISO footage, I, you know, isolated camera, like in War Finals 3 and 4. That footage is still up some places, but I'm sure they have tons of that that we would be amazing to see. And finally, I think everybody wants more 2003 footage. They've shown over the years that they have it, and they just hasn't been 
fully released in any way essentially i don't i don't know what's stopping them exactly we can you know we like we can, we'll take the raw footage we don't need it to be fully edited and broken down you know just having the footage itself is so valuable and there's been no shortage of people asking for it so honestly i don't know why they haven't just dipped their hand into the vault and pulled some shows out because you know everyone would love to see it i don't know what's stopping them you'd make more money that way now even after all this crap i talked about i still think that this is more than worth it honestly i got to see so many shows that i hadn't seen since they aired on tv so if you're a monster jam fan you have to get this it's it's more than worth it but it's also far from perfect 